This guy is here at Anwar J Senior High School here at Ezenlebo. Amazing guy. If you do your calculation and this thing is true, then it means indeed Ghana has now landed herself a super genius, probably the Einstein of Ghana. Welcome to High Tunes Africa. Prove that your school is the best school. Thank you, please. Uh, sir, my name is Goshes from High Schools Africa. Thank you, sir. I have heard that uh, in this school and then in this class in particular, there's a student here who is able to prove that one plus one is not two, as we all know, but it is three. Please, can I talk to him? Yes, please. Josh, come on. How far? What's your name? My name is Joshua. Joshua. Joshua, we all know one plus one is two. Yeah. Are you aware one plus one is two? Yeah. And we are saying it's three. It's three. It's not two, it's three. It's three. Hey, this boy. Can you prove it? Yeah, okay. Please, prove it. Thank you. So, I want to prove it on you. Prove it. So, first of all, we need to make some assumptions. And that assumption is going to start with me taking some variables. So, you, can, you guys can give me any variable to use. I want any, please. Okay, so we have M and N. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we need to equate the two variables. We are having M is equal to N. Then the next step to do is to multiply through by any of the variable. So if, let's take N. We are going to multiply both sides by N. We are having M times N is equal to N times N. And this is going to give us MN is equal to N squared. This is what we have. And the next thing is to do is we know that we used um, n in multiplying. So we need to take the other variable and square it and subtract it from both sides. So you are having um, the next variable is m. We are going to square m and subtract it from both sides. So you have mn is equal to mn minus m square is equal to n square minus m square. This is what we have. Pause. Please, just so we we'll all be sure. Whatever he's doing, I don't know what is happening. I don't know anything about math. So me, I'm just watching. So if you know what is happening, fine. If you can follow him through all the procedures, good for you. Me, I don't, I don't see anything. I'm just seeing him rise thoughts over there. Good, please continue. To continue, we can factorize. We factorize M out, you are going to get N minus M. And here is difference of two squares. So we are going to get n minus m in another bucket, n plus m. This is what we have. And the next thing is that we know that we have a common factor here, so we can cancel out. This is going to go away with this. We have m is equal to n plus m. This is what we have. We can rearrange this to get m is equal to m plus n. This is what we have here. The next thing is to do is to add one to both sides. We are going to have m plus 1 is equal to m plus n plus 1. This is what we have. But already we know that m is equal to n. So wherever we see, we can interchange them. So we have m, m plus 1 is equal to m plus, because we know that m is equal to n. So we are going to put m in place of the n, which will give us m plus 1. And this thing is going to give us m plus 1 is equal to 2m plus 1. We are going to assume that m is equal to 1. So we have m is equal to 1. So you have 1 plus 1 into 2 into bracket 1 plus 1. And this is going to give us 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1. And this gives us 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Done. School is the best.